Hi friends, just coming back on impulsively, compulsively to say goodnight. I had a nice long day at work. It wasn't too bad. It had its moments. Having a job is good for me. And um, I'm using my channel as just an outlet and like a like a video diary. Let's face it, I live alone. I get lonely. I mean, I don't get lonely. I get... I crave um, contact and stimulation, which of course, how am I getting that with holding a black box in front of my face and talking into it? But it's a way of just kind of throwing a net out and seeing what it brings back to me. I'm actually a very content person living alone. I really am. I'm kind of like, I'm not a hermit and I'm not antisocial. It's just that it's taken me years to cultivate being able to be alone and not too codependent on anybody anymore. Um, I mean, would I like a nice, healthy relationship someday? Yes, but I don't, I no longer like hope for it or wait for it or expect it or look for it. You know, life just is what it is every day. And this is my life right now, me and my job and my cats and my kids and my grandkids and a few very select friends. And now this outlet, you know, YouTube channel, which so far is kind of silly in a way, because I know I'm not really doing it right, but um, it's also fun. I'm enjoying it, and I know that there's a handful of people watching that seem to care about me and what I have to say, and and likewise for you guys too, um, Sabina and uh, the rest of you. So um, yeah, I have a lot of thoughts about like the whole Amber Lynn thing. The problem is that I get all these thoughts like while I'm in a place where I can't either jot them down or record thoughts like this so I wait till later and then my mind goes blank um and I wind up just saying like the same 10 things every single freaking day but um and I keep promising things I'm going to talk about and then I don't even do it I do need to um get a new phone I think or a new camera or something but I've been really really enjoying people's commentaries on the last couple Amberlynn Reed videos not not because I enjoy bashing her which I don't just the idea of calling out lies and like just on a, on like a bigger level, like a bigger social responsibility level, if that makes any sense. Like, um, I don't know, observing her and the way she goes about her life really does make you turn an eye on yourself. It's like, I can't explain what I mean by that, but um, in particular, I'm a little bit piqued at her kind of glib use of weight loss surgery as one of her options as if it's just like buying a book or buying a pill or there's so much more to it and I know I touched upon it a couple weeks ago in one of my introductory videos about myself but I really do want to have 20 minutes or 30 minutes of talking about what weight loss surgery was for me and what it did to me and for me and what I regret about it actually and to have her talk about it like she knows anything I don't think she would even ever be approved for weight loss surgery in her mental and emotional condition, but maybe things are different in Kentucky than they are in New York. Um, I had mine in 01, and I gained a lot of weight back. If you don't address your behavioral and emotional issues, you find out it's really not about the food. You know, just like my drinking was about filling a hole inside myself, and it wasn't about the booze. I took the booze away. But I had to do extensive work on myself so that I wouldn't pick it back up again. And that's the work that she doesn't seem to be willing to do. And I'm not saying it's easy. It's the hardest thing in the world to do, to be honest with yourself and about yourself. But it would help if she would listen to people and not just, you know, idiots that are trying to sell her shit and sell her a dream. Um, Shaquana Jefferson's video a little while ago was extremely spot on as was um, Hamber, which is spelled H-X-M-B-E-R. That was a really good, non-cruel, but very spot-on commentary that I recommend if you're not already watching. I'm going to go now. I'm going to bed. I'm actually in my bed with my fresh scrubbed face, and I'm not looking in my viewfinder at all. Isn't that good? So I'm making progress. Love you guys. Peace. Till next time. Bye.